What? I don't know. You just annoy me. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> oh, I forgot my name tag. Oh, I forgot my name tag and my pens. Dang it. Good job. Wait. That's good job. Charles, you know what? This is a failure on Charles' part. That should be backwards. <laughs> Oh, it should be. should be backwards so they could read it. I don't know. I mean, you'd have to upload it as an image, probably, not letters. I don't know. I'm overthinking. You are. It's okay. And that, I mean, that's an image. I know. It, okay. That's why I stopped myself. Okay. Because I was overthinking it. You didn't stop, though. You kept spewing the words out of your face. <laughs> Good freaking morning and welcome to Monday. What's this up here? I don't know. It's weird. It it's different. It's public now instead of who's on. Well, it, it, it does still show. Yeah, but we used to be able to see their little profile pictures. Only sometimes. I think. I don't know. It's okay. doesn't matter. Jim, good morning. So what are we talking about today, Miss Elizabeth? Are we doing inventory stuff or no? I kind of want to Do just because we haven't in a while. Do All right, it. I'm going to. Real quick. You know what? Real quick. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go around. I don't even know what we got. So, well, you're going to find out. Dan or Alex, if we have something cool, make sure you tell me what we have that's cool over there. So, there was something. Y'all are going to learn together. There was something new I thought I saw last week. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go take a look. We are going to go through it kind of quick. Um, as I'm sure you all noticed, because you've been sitting on the edge of your seat waiting for Liz and I to return to the, the land of the live. Um, we were gone all last week uh, to a training conference, which we're going to talk about in a minute, but we came back to chaos. So our, our office is a disaster, and so is our email inbox and voicemails and all that stuff. So um, I say I'm going to try to keep this short. I don't know that that's actually going to happen, but we're, we're going to see. So I do want to go through inventory. It is going to be relatively fast just because I don't have time. So. Uh, shotguns. We've got some Mossbergs. I've got a Tavor up there. Gordon, good morning. Uh, Mossberg, Remington, Winchester, Beretta. Oh, we've got an A300 and a 1301, 21 inch 1301. Um, and then a couple of Benelli's left up here. So, need a shotgun. I've got a shotgun one class coming up, I think, sometime yeah. soon, I think. I don't know. Um, come take a class. That's a lot of fun. What? Make sure you come check out the 22 case. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. Um, on the long gun wall, we got all sorts of ARs. Oh, we got some. Man, we got a, quite a few Daniel Defense in. All these come in last week. Man, we've got a lot of them. Dan, how have we um, sold the fix yet? I know that I've seen them up there for a few weeks now. The fix? The yeah. So the, the AR. Anyway, sorry, I was trying to listen to their side conversation. It was annoying me. Uh, but we have all sorts of other rifles up here. Ruger, Daniel, Smith, uh, 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 Sig, FN. Yeah. It is a cool looking gun. The caliber is weird. An 8.6. It is a thumper. What's that? It's very purposeful. He, his calibers are always very purposeful. But... Who's he? His name's Kevin from Q. So what's the purpose? Well, he designs his cartridges to go hunt a specific animal. And so which they, animal? I don't remember what that Pigeons. Was. Pigeons. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Doves. Doves. That makes more sense. Yes. All right. Um, <laughs> see, Ruger, Springfield, got SOCOM M1A up there. Janet, good morning. Uh, what the heck happened to the... The staccato staccato. We have a sign for staccato and Daniel Defense, and we have a Henry revolver sitting here. <laughs> We sold all the staccatos. That's fantastic. Okay, so. Charles, good morning. 
Staccatos, we have more of those coming. Hi, Charles. It's about time you get here. Hey, you know what we also need? Uh, let's see. Sig and a couple lever guns. And then some CMMG goodness down there. Pistol case. See Shadow. I've got DR, MR, MR 920Ls, uh, CR 920 and CR 920P, Springfield, Hellcats, Prodigies. Charles just he's, stole my staccato sign. He's being very angry. <laughs> Good. Today's the day to pick on Charles. Today's the day. Smith & Wesson, Bodyguards, SDs, M&Ps, uh, Equalizers, Shield, Shield EZs. So Liz and I had a conversation about this gun the other day, and I'm going to not apologize to anyone who ever bought one of these things, but this is my least favorite modern pistol. Yeah, I... My know, least favorite. I have a student that shoots it very well, but definitely the minority. Yeah. I, I've had tons of students that have it. I mean, tons yes. of them considering that they're marketed towards women. Oh, let's talk about that because okay, I have a great it. story from Perfect. class yesterday. Let's do it. So anyway, uh, let me get back in here. SIG, all, I mean, if SIG makes it, we got it. And it's all <laughs> stuffed in this case. <laughs> uh, we have all the 226s, 229s, 320s, uh, 365s, 397s. They don't even make that yet, but it's probably in there. They do. They do now. Um, I had. I actually had another oddball sig in my. What's the What's the single stack, forty five ACP, two two six essentially two twenty. Yeah, I had one of those in class yesterday. That's kind of nice though. Yeah, yeah, guy loved it. What's a DH three? I don't know. Look at that thing. It's pretty sexy looking. I wonder if I it's a. I don't know. Steel frame or aluminum? I don't I know. Like, don't look like it. No. I don't yeah, know. Um, let's see. Beretta, lots of 92 variants, PX4 Storms, uh, HK VP9s, CZ P10s, PO7s, IWI, Masadas, and Jerichos, FNX 45s, high power, uh, Reflex 545s, 509s. But what's the three? Because that's what I thought was Daniel Horner, but... I don't know. I think it's the third. It's the third. Daniel it's, Horner the third. It's so... It's his legacy. Sig. Because <laughs> I know they watch this and they listen to me yeah. so carefully. What? Several years ago, they had 132 variants of the... Uh, no. What's the... What was the little single action only... Uh, Two. 39, yeah. 938. No, 938, yeah. 938 and 238, okay? They had like the 238, 8,000 different versions of it. <laughs> and they at one point said, hey, we're going to condense this down and because we have too many variations of the same gun, we're not going to do that anymore. And they came out with the 320, they kept it pretty simple, and then they didn't anymore. And they will release a gun, the, the Daniel Horner edition of, the, P, of the, the P320. Then it'll be like, okay, well now we added a stripe to it, so now it's a DH1. And then we added a second stripe to it, so it's a DH2. It doesn't do anything, it's just a stripe. <laughs> and I'm not saying that's what this is, because I don't know, but they have a bazillion variations. It's and confusing. It's, it's, it is, it's confusing and annoying. Pros and cons though, pros, they're innovative. Kind of. What, and adding stripes to the gun and renaming what? it? I know, that, that <laughs> was just, I mean, there's definitely sometimes it's a little ridiculous to come up with a new name. But they are innovative. They're always trying to come up with something else. But I, I want more simplicity. Yes, me too. Please. Because I'm a simple person. Yeah. All right. Uh, Glocks, I've got uh, Glock 45s, 41s, 19, Glock 20, 43X. Uh, Glock 25, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't understand that gun. I don't either. Um, what, we got lots of Glocks, so come look at them. Walther, PPKs, PDPs, <coughs> uh, different variations of PDP, PDPFs, PDP Pros. Uh, let's see, Ruger 5.7s, Gearson, Taurus, we, we just have pistols. <laughs> well, we've got some 1911s. Just a few. 
And then what am I supposed to look for in here? Oh, look this TX twenty two. Holy look moly, at it. yeah. Mount the dot to so, I guess it's stationary. Yeah, it's a stationary dot. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Run the sh mid out of that. So we got some twenty twos in there and then we don't have a whole lot of used guns, but we have some. P three twenty subcompact two two nine. Uh, XD9, Remington R51, DR920, 43X, Ruger 22, Glock 42, and a Glock 21, 23, 20, all the Glocks, and 26. So, there you go. That's everything. You saw it all. Now you know everything that we know. Alright, let's go over here and talk. Miss Tammy, good morning. So we got to talk about the ladies' event that we have coming up on Friday. Um, it's it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Because this, it went crazy, which is awesome, and I hope it stays crazy. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But I want to talk about the, uh, the woman's gun thing. Okay? That's a woman's That's gun. That's a woman's gun. So Ooh. Uh, the heck do you got going on here? I have to say something about the, I have a story quickly about the woman's gun. Okay. I have a story too, but I'm distracted by this dinner plate you have. <laughs> I overheard a phone call one time at a gun store, doesn't matter where, and I guess the person had called up and said, I, what kind of guns do you have for women? And the person on the, at, that worked at the store got very upset and was like, there's no such thing as a woman's gun. And they they went into a battle over this. Like, but but I want a gun that's meant for a woman. There's no such thing as a woman's gun. And like they could not get to the point where they could communicate what the heck was going on. She wanted a gun that makes sense for her as a woman, and he wanted to say there's no dang gun for a woman. I both sides are correct. You know, because the woman She wants a gun she, that fits her. That she wants a gun that fits her, and he wants to tell her that she could shoot whatever gun she wants, as long as it fits her hand. It doesn't matter if it's meant for a woman or a man, it's it's not the way that works. Same thing with holsters and crap. Like, okay, there's a couple holsters that are maybe a little bit more geared towards women, you know, like a bra holster or something like that. But hey, I don't judge, you wear what you want. Um but Maybe the, I want to wear a bra just so I can wear a bra holster. Okay. Let me know. <laughs> But anyway, it's just kind of funny. Um, so, real quick, we got to show this off. Charles, why didn't you get one of these made backwards? <laughs> Check it out. So this is this is actually a pretty... Heck yeah, this is awesome. Pretty big deal. Oh yeah. Pretty big deal. So, NSSF 5-star rating. Uh, we It's funny that we got inspected for this while we were gone. So, <laughs> that doesn't they, say anything they, about us. That might have been scheduled that way on purpose. Um... <laughs> Brooke, good morning. Johnny, good morning. So the NSSF, NSSF is the uh, essentially Shooting yeah National Shooting Sports Foundation, essentially, essentially an organization that helps uh, keep all retailers and ranges. And that's, they're the organization that puts on Shot Show, right? It's like the National Fishing Foundation, but it's this is for gun stores and ranges and such. And their five-star rating is a pretty big deal. It, it takes a, you have to be in business for a certain amount of time and you have to uh, um, meet a bunch of parameters, cleanliness, friendliness. Maybe that's why they did it while we were <laughs> gone. I don't know. We're all, jerks. all sorts of things. And then you have a, uh, a random inspection and then a, an actual inspection. And so we got our five-star rating last week, uh, which is pretty cool. So, um, Everybody here has been working on it hard, and we appreciate all you guys for coming out and that's why Charles kicking been, our butts every day to make why, us work hard. That's why Charles has been slacking so much in the past couple months. Yes. He's been so hard at work on our NSSF. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very cool. So we are St. Louis's only. Charles, correct me if I'm wrong, but St. Louis's only five-star, five star, Missouri's second. So there's only two ranges in Missouri, uh, one in St. Louis. So it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome, and uh, it's it's a big deal. So, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you just booped your own face. <laughs> it was like you cheers yourself. <laughs> I did. It's better that way. I'm such a weirdo today. Anyway. All right. 
Okay. Um, so real quick, it probably won't be quick. I mean, this is already longer than it should have been. Um, the woman's gun thing. So this weekend, we got talking about, uh, in class, it, it was basic pistol class yesterday, all guys in class. And we got to the revolver section, and I, nobody, none of the students in there had a revolver. So in that class, typically, when we get to the revolver section, if nobody has one, we'll very lightly cover the stuff just to kind of give very big picture uh, ideas. Um, if somebody has one, we'll go into finer details with it. One guy said, hey, I've got one at home. I didn't bring it with me, but I'd like to have a little bit of understanding. So, okay, so we start talking about them, and it somehow it came up, and I don't remember exactly how it came up, but that it was designed for women, right, essentially. And I was like, mm, I don't know about that. And so we started having a discussion about why a lot of people say this is a woman's gun and why a lot of salespeople, not here, but a lot of salespeople, at, especially like big box stores and that, will say that, well, here you go, little lady, you can't rack a slide or you can't load a magazine, so you've got this little five-shot, 38 special, hammerless revolver, that you can just Slip put in your, per, in your purse or your pocket, and this is all you're going to need. So it uh, doesn't snag. So it doesn't snag on anything. <laughs> Vincent <laughs> Leone, good morning. Hi, Vinny. Um, and I start talking about the why it's that's not a great idea, right? The trigger pull is really hard. Yes, it is easy to load. Um, the thing that they never malfunction, that always comes up to. Um, but we just talked about how physics works and when the gun goes bang and how that translates to what you feel and how small the grip is and as it relates to your hand and all this sort of thing. And one of the guys raised his hand, he's like, hey, uh, I don't remember if it was his mom or his neighbor or what it was, but some female person in his life got, was purchased a small little hammerless revolver and she could not shoot it. And by the time she was finally able to get the gun to go bang, it kicked her butt, right? Uh, and he's like, she shot the thing like four or five times, and then that's it. That's it. Probably never want to shoot a gun yep. again. No, and it ruins the experience, right? So yeah. So that was revolvers. That. Don't get, read it. Get, nah, <laughs> <laughs> be careful. Yep, I know. I gotta be careful. Read the words. Um, so this, this, this. Easy. The easy thing. People, we see them in class. This, this conversation came up because she said we see them all the time in class because they go somewhere and, or they just have it in their head, right? Like somebody might come in and say that this is what I want because I read this online or I watched this video or my neighbor Bob told me that I need to have this gun and no matter how much you try to talk them out of it, they, you can't talk them out of it. Um, and they show up with it and they can't use it. Then, Freaking, is the slide easier to rack? Yes, yeah. it is. It is. But the damn grip safety on that gun is terrible. And it, people have a really hard time shooting it. It's a gun that's designed for people with weak hands. And you can't depress the freaking safety. You can't get a good high grip on it. Lots of our students have complications with it. Uh, we do have a couple that, that like the gun. Um, Here's my thing on it. Like, if I tell somebody asks me, what do you think of this gun? I'm going to tell them, I don't like it. Here's why, though, I don't like it. If, if they can shoot it and it works well for them, then that's cool, right? That's totally okay. I'm not going to blame you, but you have the information and you made a choice. You know that, hey, I have to have this super high, good, tight grip, which is what you want on a pistol anyway. But if it forces you to have that, or you can't shoot it, that's where it becomes a little bit of a problem. So what I've noticed is that, one, especially ladies, if you don't have, a, if you don't work with your hands very often, this part of your, the webbing of your hand here is very soft, and this muscle that goes right through here is not very well developed. Um, so what I've found is, is when, again, this is mostly ladies, when they choose this, they think that racking the slide is going to be much easier, which it is, but when you actually go to physically hold the gun, this part of your hand is so soft, it doesn't actually push in the back strap safety the way that it should because <clears throat> on the EZ, it pivots at the bottom, so the button's up at the top, up towards the, 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 the slide of the pistol, 
okay? So meaning that you have to use the webbing of your hand to get it pushed in correctly. It's not all the way up to the top either, so you have to like lower your grip on it to be able to hit the safety reliably. So you don't have that good high thumbs grip. You actually have to lower your hand a little bit lower on it to be able to press the button in correctly. Um, so it, even if you can get it in reliably, you are sacrificing your high grip, okay? So if I have the easy in my hand, if I get that high thumbs grip, my dominant hand does not have the ability to push in the back strap safety because my support hand, which is the one that's supposed to be doing all the work, is, is restricting my ability to tighten here, okay? You're supposed to be tightening more with your support hand, not with your dominant hand, but the EZ forces you to death grip it with your right hand lower than you should, so therefore you're doing the wrong grip. So while you might be able to get used to it to do it, it's it's not the way it's not the best way to do it so you're sacrificing your grip again everything in the gun world is a sacrifice grip is not something i want to sacrifice in almost any case um that's a really important one um that helps you manage the gun recoil um efficient shooting and things like that so if you are sacrificing your grip you're sacrificing your efficiency you're sacrificing your accuracy you're sacrificing the ease of use with the gun um, so while you might be able to do it it's not ideal. So, Clyde, I'm going to disagree with Mr. Robert Williams. It absolutely takes more yeah. force. Because the, the 1911 pivots from the top. So when you get your good grip on the gun, you don't, you don't, really have, you don't have to think about it. Yeah. With the EZ, I mean, I, I shoot a fair amount. I have to make a conscious effort to squeeze the gun to disengage the safety, right? Um, because it pivots from the bottom. It's just a different, they tried to address it with the performance center or whatever the upgraded model of the, the easy is to make that, make that grip safety easier to depress. It's still not right. Yeah. It's not, it's just a, I don't know. It's just a wrong feeling. It doesn't, it doesn't work well. The easy also has the sliders on the magazine, which makes that magazine easier to load. What does that sacrifice? Your capacity, capacity a yeah. lot. Like when you have those extra nubbins in there, you're sacrificing capacity big time. Those only hold like seven or eight rounds. Um, the other part, um, you know, racking the slide, that's something that you can overcome with technique. Most of the time people, you know, want to grab it and slingshot it out here. We'll grab one. Um, and when you learn the correct technique to rack a slide where you get the most leverage behind it, you can overcome the slide. I promise. Like, I, I can't tell you how many times we have, we've helped people rack the slide even when they've got major arthritis issues, hand strength issues, all those things. Um, it's not so much about the strength as it is just doing it over and over again and building some muscle memory, getting your brain to talk to your hands and work those little muscles that you haven't used in a while. Um, so racking the slide can be overcome and to my opinion, in my opinion, the EZ is not a worthwhile sacrifice. That's my opinion. Also the capacity, that's a sacrifice there. Um, Do we so. have a department here? There's somebody here. So, um, here's the EZ's grip safety. So it pivots, you can see the pin right here, All right? Um, will you just let Alex, no, please. When you, when you go to get the grip on the gun, right, like I want my grip up here, okay? It's really hard to actually depress this when my grip's here. So a lot of people have to get their grip lower to make that conscious decision to push this all the way in. Um, it's just my opinion. I'm certainly a nobody, but it, uh, I am a nobody with quite a bit of experience with people that are brand new to shooting that can't get this gun to work and it gets frustrating and you put another even a regular shield in their hand or a uh you know a glock 19 or a whatever else and it just works this doesn't work my opinion so what okay all right. Alex, grab the cart. Grab the cart, please. 
Um, Delegating like a pro. Anyway, if you bought this gun already, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I don't like it. Does it mean you don't like it? That's okay, but yeah. Okay, so what's next on our agenda? We're done with the easy. Friday. Friday, 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 Friday. Woo! Woo! Friday. <laughs> So when we started this, we have on Friday we have a uh, uh, women's group meet and greet, right? How many people do we think we're gonna show up for this? Fifteen twenty. Yeah. How many people do we have signed up? Like one hundred and thirty-five, <laughs> which is freaking awesome. Uh, All right. Um, <laughs> holy crap! The uh, the response to it has been overwhelming and amazing. Amazing. It's it's really cool so um a little bit about what to expect on <laughs> yeah shit that, you yeah. took the words right out of my mouth <laughs> for sure but what did we decide to do we shut the store down we shut the store down. so originally it was going to be like okay let's just we'll put a couple people in a classroom we're just going to talk about what so our expectation is in the relatively near future we're going to have a women's group that meets here once a month or whatever it is. I'm going for right? it once or twice a month. Yeah. yeah. And um, this night was supposed to be like, hey, let's get some ladies that come out here and shoot to, to get together and talk about what that what they would like to see in the group. Like, what do you want that to look like? Do you want to meet once a month? Do you want to meet twice a month? Um, how do you want that to be structured? Do you want to shoot every time? Do you want to, you know, just let's have a discussion about what the group's going to look like instead of us just um, dictating that. Yeah. Coming up with it on our own. So we thought, okay, we'll get 15, 20 people, come out, we'll have a little discussion, we'll go downstairs, shoot a little bit, and call it good. And then people, like, filled up like that. I'm like, okay, so we'll open up for a little bit more. And filled up like that. Or you start getting phone calls, like, well, I tried to sign up and it's sold out. And, <laughs> like, okay, we we'll just come, come on. And <laughs> next thing you know, we're like, hey, this is, this is, this is getting a little bit much. Um, so let's shut the store down. Okay, so we're shutting the store down. Um, we're opening it up. We're just gonna have ladies, lots of people in here, it's and it's gonna be, be awesome. awesome. So we're still gonna do the same thing. Uh, we're gonna talk about what this group, what our thoughts are on for the group, and get some input. We're we're instead of just throwing ideas out, you can still do that that night. But we decided because there's so many people, uh, we're sending out an email if you haven't got one already. Uh, Liz will be sending out another one today with links to a uh, uh, survey, yeah, survey uh, with some questions of stuff that you'd like to see and so forth. So you can kind of get your your words in and not have to talk in front of 150 people that show up here on Friday. We also have a Facebook page um, too that we can communicate through and share ideas and um, so trying to find as many ways as possible to open up the the community to everyone um, and give us some feedback and um, you guys are trying to be so quiet you're fine <laughs> like tiptoeing around um, so we want to build a community here I want you guys to come in here and see how awesome this place is and feel comfortable coming in um, you know when we all shoot together or you know building up the you come in and shoot with us once or twice a month and maybe that set you on the path to come in even more than that. You're like, all right, this looks good. I can I can come in with the ladies. I can come in by myself. I feel good either way. And you get to know us um, here at the range and just join the family. So um, that's, that's what the goal is. And, you know, when we meet moving forward, I would also like to start looking into some other topics of education. You know, like we could expand this out to self-defense in other ways and self-growth in other ways. There's lots of places to go. So... Ideally, we meet, um, we talk about a new concept, we, we learn a new concept, um, maybe we go downstairs and practice it, maybe it's something a little a little more random, maybe we have a guest speaker or something, but the goal is is to keep learning, keep growing, shoot together, um, you know, hang out together and- Build another community, build another, another community, community within the community. Yeah. And uh, I, this is, this is already far exceeded my expectation, uh, so I'm excited. Oh, yeah. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be awesome <laughs> to see people not. So, if you're watching this right now, carpool. If you <laughs> and your friends are coming, try to carpool. Yeah, because I think in total we have like uh, 78 parking spots in our, in our 
our parking lot. I think a lot of people are bringing friends, and I like, hey, I signed up, and my mom's coming with me, or my sister's coming with me, or um, whoever is coming with me. So then they sign up too. So I, and that's that's primarily what this is about. Is is I, hey, I want to go make some new friends. And women in the shooting world are not super common. Just kidding. You guys have made that abundantly clear to me that it yeah, is more common than I thought. <laughs> so, um, and so come in, make some new friends, um, you know, and bring some friends, and we'll. That's awesome. So what but, else, what else are we doing? So we're you're coming in. Uh, we're gonna have a little uh, meeting. Not really a meeting, but yeah. she's gonna get up. She's gonna have to stand on something tall. Yeah. With the like a we need like a ladder. Yeah. <laughs> um, to get up because we're just going to keep everybody in the showroom. We're just going to fill up the showroom with people, have a have a brief conversation about the, the stuff we just talked about, what we're kind of expecting, and then we're going to open up the range for shooting. Now, the only difference between a normal range day, a pulpit, that's what she, what she needs, <laughs> a pulpit on stilts. Yes. That's what she needs. I'll just wear stilts because then I'll that put me right I would up. like to see. Then it'll just put me right up at the, the normal height. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we need bouncy ones. So you'll jump. get to go downstairs and shoot. We're going to ask that you be conscious of the fact that there's lots of people that are going to want to shoot. Yep. So the range is going to be shut down, except for the group. Yep. So all three bays will be open for you to go downstairs and shoot. Uh, go down and shoot a little bit. Have some fun. Bring some of your friends that maybe haven't shot before that, that you want to help. There's not. There's going to be RSOs walking around as, as typical, but not... It's not an instruction night from yeah. us. If you want to bring somebody that your your neighbor who's never shot before and, and you want to offer them up some, hey, you want to shoot my gun a couple times or something, absolutely, have at it. Because of the number of people, we are not going to do gun rentals that day. It's just too complicated to try to keep track of and all that. So this is a night to come out and just shoot if you've already got your own stuff and that sort of thing or shoot with friends that already have their own stuff. Um, this is not this is not the night to come out and try the easy yeah. along with the 365 and the x5 p320 legion because those are almost the same thing yeah well, let's come in and shake hands get to know each other answer questions on what we want this to do moving forward um and just start the process start the process That's nick this doing. is on friday from six to eight yeah friday from six to eight uh crazy Hundred, I think we have snacks too. Yeah, lights, we'll, lights we'll have light snacks. Yeah, don't come here dinner. expecting dinner. Yeah, light but snacks, we'll have some. some we'll have some food that you can munch on and and just hang out and meet new people. See how big this community really is, and uh, hope hope to help you understand how awesome the community is. All right, last topic, Alita. Alita. So Alita, that's where Liz and I were all last week. Um, Sunday through Saturday, so it was it was uh, lots of long days that went very very quickly. Oh my gosh! Was, on Saturday when we finished up, we were both like, "How did? How is this over already?" Um, all day long in classes, it was fantastic. So um, no shooting. They do offer some shooting classes, but for uh, that really wasn't what we were going for necessarily, but. Um, just lots of great information on humans, <laughs> really, is what it comes down to. Uh, how people learn, how to teach better. Um, understand how, people. How, yeah, understand. Communicate. Others, understand how you react under stress. Um, got to, you know, this is only our second time going to this conference. We got to see some people that we met last year. Got to meet a bunch of new people, have some great conversations. It was an awesome, overwhelming week of information being exchanged. And this is all instructors. Yeah. So everybody there, all of the participants, all of the students are all instructors. Um, it was it was an awesome week. That's my favorite thing about it is that it's such a con being being a student is is hard. We understand that. And I hope that you understand that coming to our classes that we understand that it's hard being a student. We are We were just a student this morning in, at Jiu Jitsu, but that aspect of being a student and humbling yourself to where you can learn, um, that's hard to do. We understand that we were in an environment all week where it was all trainers. So everybody understands that concept. So it was very, it's just 
very nice to be a student and to put yourself back in the beginning um, and to be in an environment where you can learn um, and not feel judged, I guess. Um, and I want you guys to know that that's not the, that's the way we teach too. We are very understanding of that. So when you come in and if you mess something up, that's okay. Like we're going to help you through it. We're going to help you learn it from the beginning and it's not a judgmental environment. And we got to experience that all week last week and it's, it's just fantastic. So, um, be a student, be a student. It's and that's, so awesome. so that's, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a common thing that we, that we say a lot. And, and, you know, I always tell people that I try to attend several classes every year uh, in, in some respect, whether it's a, you know, it's a two day class or it's a, four hour class or something, you should always, always be learning. And um, I think that we get students that come in here that don't realize that because it's, this is a thing like, I should just know how to do it. Huh. Shooting the gun is easy. We say it all the time, like picking a gun up, pointing in a safe direction and pulling a trigger to the rear is simple. But to have a real, a true understanding of how this tool works and how to actually use it is, is not so simple. Um, and especially if you start, we're just talking about just shooting, just using the tool. Uh, when you start getting into the self-defense aspect or the competitive aspect or whatever, everything starts to evolve even a little bit more. It's an awesome world. Uh, being a student is just awesome. Being in the environment that you can ask the questions and be vulnerable um, is, is cool. And we try really hard to make that a reality here as well. And you guys are students right now. So it doesn't always have to be you taking a class. Do other things to better yourself. You can learn all kinds of ways. Watch a instructional on YouTube, you know, like, be careful, <laughs> you know, like, but you learn to talk, how to talk to people, public speaking, or I mean, there's so many things in life that you can learn. Um, and it doesn't always cost money. Um, and you know, just don't stop learning. Don't stop challenging yourself. The challenge is what you should be rewarding yourself for going through the challenge of, of starting at starting from scratch or trying something that's difficult. Um, that should be what you strive to do is challenge yourself, challenge yourself. That's where your dopamine should come from. The end results is fantastic as well, but definitely look for that challenge and try to gear your brain towards the challenge. Nick, uh, Ron, thanks for being awesome. Oh, well, you're welcome. Liz is still trying. Uh, <laughs> having a great range for training and learning. Uh, I'm, I'm thanks, still Nick. trying to run. That's true. No. Got to run. You said Liz is still trying. No, I said, he, he said, got to run. Thanks for being awesome. I said, you're oh, welcome. Oh, Liz is still I trying. See. Anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, that's not hard because you're short. Um, <laughs> so, Robert says, what if I'm afraid of the range and guns? How can you help? Come in here. So, this is, we have this exact story mm -hmm. um, where we have a, a student uh, member now who, uh, the very first time she came in here, she was not nervous about walking through the door. She was scared to walk through the door. That was a huge step for her was to literally step in here. To see guns hanging on the wall was physically frightening to her. Um, <laughs> oddly enough, her first interaction, I think, was with Vinny. But, uh, uh, which it sounds so funny, but... Vinny's it, great at managing oh, yes, people's it insight, was for sure. It was great. Yeah. But Vinny came and got Liz and I, and we sat down. We didn't sit down. We actually stood in the hallway and had yeah. a conversation with her. Um, and she came out and took a class, and then she took another class, and she became a member with her husband, and then she came and shot on her own for the first time like two weeks ago or something. Uh, and it was awesome. Liz and I sat down with her the day she came out here by herself and probably spent 30 or 40 minutes just talking about that that four month process or whatever it was, six yeah. month process for her. And and that she's still not over it. Yeah. Right? She's still nervous about coming in here, less so, but um, this is a, a whole new world for her and she was literally frightened to walk through the door. 
but she did. Fuck yeah. And I like to think, you know, I, I, I say this with uh, great pride, really, that we, we have the ability to change people's lives. Yeah. And that sounds very conceited and stuck up, and that, that's certainly not what, what the intent of it is, but we, we have that ability. For good or bad, and I, when I say we, I mean this industry, this, this yeah. type of facility. Um, sometimes people do that and they have the wrong interaction and it solidifies the misconceptions that they have in their brain about what we as an industry are. Um, and I think the range, we, do a fantastic job of uh, demonstrating what the industry truly is and, and should be striving to become. And that's what I want Friday to be about. Friday is a meet and greet to walk into this building to, cause there's gonna be a lot of people here that's never been here before. And that's what a meet and greet is for. And even if you can't make the meet and greet, but you come to another meeting that we do, you know, when we, it, you don't have to shoot, just come in, get to know the environment and start to just come in with with more purpose each time. It, you don't have to shoot. It's just a to understand the world and work your way through it as, as slow as you need to. Um, and like while Friday, if you're gonna go onto the range, it's not a time for brand new shooters to go onto the range on Friday. And truly moving forward with that group, it's not, it's not supposed to be like a basic handgun where I train you how to shoot the gun for the very first time. But if you want to come and shoot and start to engage in this world, start to put hands on guns, you know, all that sort of thing. That's what this is for, is to come in and, and start somewhere, um, start working your way through the process as slow or as fast as you'd like, um, and then have a community to help you with it. And then regardless of us being ladies, but your, you know, guys can come in here too and have the same respect. If you want to have a sit, you know, a one-on-one -on -one conversation with anybody here or us in the training department or whatever, We'll show you around. We'll introduce you to some things on the wall. Like just come in and talk to us. It's it's a family here. There's multiple people that spend multiple hours a day, multiple times a week here because this is an awesome place to be. It, it's just, we're a family. So come and join the family. Um, come shoot with us and, and empower yourself. Have a good time, release some stress, train yourself, be better. I, the world is endless. I had a fantastic point that I was gonna make. And you lost it. I lost it. So it must not have been so fantastic. I, I forgot about it already. Damn it. Failed. It was a failure. You gotta keep a little notepad with you. I know, I should. <laughs> or you could just interrupt me. I have me. one, it's my phone. Yeah. But my phone is being utilized at the moment. You can just oh, interrupt me. It was about the coming to watch thing. Like oh yeah. Something we, we tell people all the time with competitions. Come out and hang out and watch a competition because it seems so scary. Like, hey, I've been shooting for a while, but I'm not running and doing backflips. You know, when you watch competitive videos, you watch guys like J.J. Ricasa or, you know, uh, Jerry Mitchell, Jerry Mitchellek or uh, Daniel Horner or whoever, and you're like, yeah, nope, I'm not <laughs> doing that. Um, that's not what this is, right? Like, come out and watch, and you see just regular people. We do have some very good competitors that show up too, who are just people and are happy to share. Mm -hmm and help you foster the growth in yourself to, to become a better shooter and a better competitor. Um, we do it with jujitsu. I did it this morning. My knee is still messed up. I can't spar, so I just watch, right? I just go and watch. Um, I tell people the same thing about that class. Like if you want to, if you're thinking about jujitsu, just go, go to the gym and just watch a class. Yeah. It's not a bunch of people getting up and punch each other in the face all day, right? It's, it's, a learning environment, a good environment. And a lot of times we, we overbuild these things in our head and psych ourselves out and don't ever go get involved. So get involved. Get Do involved. It. Do it. Tammy, you have a wonderful day as well. All right. We are uh, 72 minutes over on our time. <laughs> I don't even know how long we've been on. but Probably about that long. Probably. Um, we got to go. Okay. You guys, I, I hope to see... All of you ladies, not yep. all of you. We're closing at 6 on yep. Friday. Closing at 6. So the general public. Ladies, come out. We'll see you on Friday. Uh, be ready to shake some hands and, and meet people and give high fives and lots of smiles and laughs. High fives, yes. Yes. Yell at Liz. Don't yell at me. <laughs> yell at Liz. 
Um, you guys have a super awesome day. If you need something, come see us, 14803 Manchester Road in beautiful Baldwin, Missouri. Uh, 10 to 8, Monday to Friday, Saturday, 9 to 6, Sunday, 10 to 6. Stay safe, be nice to one another. We'll catch you soon. Later. Awkward. Pause. Pause. <laughs>